Hey YouTube, so I'm back and I am going to review the egglets as seen on TV because me and my husband eat lots of salads, so I want to do a review on them. I purchased my egglets off of I purchased my egglets off of eBay just because I like to go the cheaper route. Got six of them for like seven dollars instead of getting six for fifteen dollars so I'm gonna do a review on them. I'm actually going to do a review on them and show y'all how I use them. I only used them twice so far. First time was definitely terrible. Second time came out pretty okay. So here we go. I'm gonna set up my camera and I'm going to get started on what to do with these bad boys. So these are the egglets. I'm only going to use four right now because we're going to have salad tonight and we like boiled eggs in our salad. So they came um, in a box, but they came under part. So this is how they look once you put them together. And when they are part, all of this comes off. This comes off. We have to put it together. They came stacked up like this. Sorry I didn't do them when they came out of the box. So you take them out. You wash them. Please wash your products first because these things come from a warehouse and you don't know where the stuff been. Bugs, everything. People's hands, machines, all that stuff is probably dirty. So, um, yeah, I'll show you how to put them together. You get the silicone part and you get this part. You want to put the screw part at the bottom, and these are already washed. And you want to twist it on there, or well, not necessarily twist, but you want to kind of push it in there to where it just fits in. And it's in there, like that, as so. Uh, next, gosh, it sure does look wrong. I definitely put that on wrong. Oh, terrible review. <laughs> So you want to put it on this way. What was I thinking? Because I was showing y'all, I guess I got mixed up. Put the soft part to the bottom, the big part to the bottom, until it snaps in there correct. Like that. Because if you put the screw part on the bottom, you won't be able to screw in this part. So once you do that, you can screw the lid on. And it's like that. And that's how you use the egglet. So first time I used it, the box did not say use grease. They don't advertise that on the commercial. They say silicone, put it in, crack it, put the egg in, boil it, and it comes out, just pops out. No, that's not how I used it. Because when we did that with no grease, the inside of it had egg all in it. Like I had to use my nails to basically scrape it clean. And now it's better. But that took a lot of cleaning. And I didn't want to waste my money, so I did not throw it away. Um... So we are about to use them. So I got my egglets. I'm going to take out a pan. Hot. Run some hot water. Get that hot. And I'm going to take out my egg. And like I said, I'm going to boil four eggs. We're having fish and salad tonight. So, got my lighting in the sink to be going and boiling my water. Put my hot water on the stove. I always put hot water in a pan. So, there we have it. I already took my grease out. This is what I used last time. I used Pam uh, Superior Non-Stick Grease. And that worked pretty good. So, I'm going to show you how to use the eggs. So hopefully my camera works right so you all can see what I'm doing. Let's point it down a little bit more. 
So, what you need is the egglets. Please get some spray, some kind of grease or spray where you can lather up your silicone part and the jar. You don't have to use this, but I like to to make sure no eggshells get in there and I have to dig through this little silicone part. So, what I'm going to do is crack the egg into the jar. No, actually, I'm not going to do that first. I want to spray my eggless first, so I'm going to do that. Oh, I didn't fix this one, so let me put this together. Y'all, I love these egglets, though. It saves so much time with cracking boiled eggs. If you're a boiled egg eater, these save so much time. They don't come out the same exact shape. They're flat at the top or at the bottom, whatever. When you take them out, it's flat, but it still saves time. Who cares about the shape? All I'm going to do is cut it up anyway. So, I have my spray egg, and I'm going to spray it a few times. Get the bottom, sides. I'd say spray it at least four times if you have a sprayer like this. And have it nice and glossy in there. Some people might say it's too much, but what happened to me the first time, I did not want to happen again. It was terrible. I could not get the egg out. So I'm just going to keep spraying. together just to make sure I get all surfaces let it roll around with this grease like I said I don't believe it's too much because I can always rinse it off I did rinse them off once they were finished to rinse all that excess grease off and I am finished spraying them just enough to coat again do not use these without grease because your eggs will come out nasty but would leave your silicone damaged so I'm just rolling that grease around as you can see in the bottom and next I'm going to crack my eggs one at a time do not put more than one in your jar I just got a little measuring glass you know And I already have my water boiling while I'm doing this. So it can be hot by the time I finish. And if it's not already boiling, I'll sit it in there anyway. So, have my egg in there. And, so go. and I'm going to pour it in there. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. And I'm just gonna take the cap, put it on there. Roll around the grease that set the bottom again. Crack my egg and put it in there. And I'm just gonna continue to do that and I come back when I'm finished. So I'm back. And I have the egglets. They're all cracked and in the eggies. So I'm going to take them and put them in the stove now. Put them in my boiling water. As you can see, my water is boiling. And I'm going to set my timer. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to set it for 15 minutes. Because I like hard boiled eggs. Sorry, it won't focus. And cook time. Oh, I didn't even set my timer. Let's try that over again. So I'm going to do 15 minutes, like I said. And let's 
started. Water's boiling and time to put the eggless in. Set it down nice and soft. I do not want to damage these. I hate damaging things that I spent my money on. And clearly I have a uh oh. You see how that happened? Now that hasn't happened before. Let's try that again. <laughs> I hope I didn't mess up. Oh no, they are turning like over. What is going on? Okay, y'all. This did not happen before. Maybe I should turn it the pot down some. I'm not sure. They're like tipping over. Yeah, I'm doing a terrible job. Maybe because I'm trying to record. Everything is falling. So I don't know how they're going to come out this time. And because it's built over, you can see eggs floating around the pot or something. But oh well. Well, only three are going to fit, so I'll just do that. I should have got my bigger pot. I usually only do two, so I wasn't thinking. But yeah, so I'm going to leave them in there 15 minutes. I put the stove on. I put it on five. Just halfway heat. Get that going. And... I will be back again. Oh, and later I'm going to do a review on this apple cider vinegar from the Aldi store. Simply Nature. Plus, I've been losing weight with that, so I'll show you how I do that, too. But, we'll be back in about 15 minutes. <laughs>